Zebedee Dalton. Come on, let's bless God for him. Bishop, can you tell us for those uh, that are watching today that might not know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I am Bishop Zeb Dalton, Brooklyn, New York. Yes. I'm the senior pastor of the Covenant Church, yes. which is in the heart of Brooklyn. Yes. I am the presiding prelate of the Covenant of Hope International Assemblies, yes. which is an inner city uh, reformation of churches. Yes. Um, and we cover churches from New York, um, Delaware, Jersey, Pennsylvania, the South. And now we're in Uganda and Kenya. Amen. Amen. God's expanding the borders. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. So, Bishop, um, how long have you been in ministry and how long have you been doing what you're doing? I started pastoring um, July 7th, 2002. Okay. Um, so that's been about 15 years, going on 16. Yes. I was born and raised in the Church of God in Christ. Yes. And so... Um, probably been in what they call holiness all my life. Uh -huh. Doesn't mean I was holy. <laughs> I was in holy all my life. And, um, and so I think over the course of time I have uh, grown into who I am now. Yes. Did not always know, did not always understand. Yes. Um, coming from a traditional background, tradition is more than just uh, no pants, yes. no makeup, no yes. lipstick. Yes. Tradition also is sometimes they were unaware of the gifts of the spirit mm -hmm. and so i had to grow into that through uh through trial and error mm -hmm. so that's how we got what we are do you believe that tradition causes the people of god to be in bondage very much so very much so i think that sometimes we don't get all that god has yes. because we're stuck uh at where he's been mm. we become comfortable where he was yes and because we can manage it or handle it we yes. never stretch out uh to get the vastness of god now, in your season of breaking out of tradition, how was it for you? Um, how did you deal with the critics? How did you deal with even entering into territory that might not have been familiar to you? We, you know, sometimes, uh, Doctor, when, whenever we can't explain a thing, we can't coin it, we can't pinpoint it, we always make the person who is the trailblazer in it seem like they're a freak. Mm. And so we uh, ostracize them. Yeah. You know, we put them in a corner by themselves. Yes. Um, you know, because we can't deem what it is. Mm. And so sometimes you know, all prophets, and I think the show is probably geared around the prophetic, yes. all prophets go through a, an isolation, a period of isolation, yes. a wilderness experience. Yes. Uh, we always have a long time. Yes. We're loners. Yes. Um, and so I think that's not only so we can hear from God. Mm -hmm. It's so we can become comfortable with yeah. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Explain that, being comfortable <laughs> with yourself. I, I, I had a call today from a prophet yes. who said to me um, he was uh, depressed for no reason, mm. or oppressed for no reason. You know, nothing's yes. wrong, his bills are due, his bills are paid, family is good. Yes. Um, and he couldn't explain what was wrong. Yes. And I said, as a prophet, you don't all the time feel what you're going through. Sometimes you're sensing what the people are going through. Yes, yes, yes. And you've got to learn how to uh, sort of convey it back to God. Yes. You know, I know what they're going through. I can sense and I can feel it. So let me push it off. Mm -hmm. Let me become comfortable with sometimes I'm not living my own life. Mm -hmm. I'm living a life for the people. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the priest hears from uh, the people yes. and they take it to God. Yes, the yes. prophet hears from God and take it to the people. Amen, amen, amen. And just actually operating in the prophetic and taking on the needs and the situations and the and uh, of the trials that people are going through. How do you handle that in a way where it doesn't put you in a bad space? How do we handle yeah. taking on the needs of the people? Yeah, yeah. I, I think with all gifts, it's trial and error. Yes, okay. Um, I don't think we are any of us are automatic professionals. Yes. I think if you look at every biblical account of every prophet, yes. they all had their time of crying, yes. had their time of asking God why, yes. they even had their time of being prideful. Yes. I think it was the prophet that said, I'm the only one here. Yes. And God said, well, I have a couple that haven't bowed to bell yet. Yes. Yes. And yes. so I think it's a trial and error process. I think it's um, the uh, uh, for every level, my mom used to say she was not a prophet. Yeah, yeah. My mama said for every level, there's a new devil. Yes, it is. And so <laughs> I think for every level of the prophetic, yes. every level that the prophet is on, God will take them back through a new experience mm -hmm. to teach them not only himself, mm -hmm. but teach them how they can balance this level. 
Okay, so we are. I, I, I introduced him as Bishop, but he operates in a strong prophetic. He is a prophet. I want you to share uh, with our audience people that might be aspiring or feel that they have the call or the oil of the pro oil of the prophetic on them. Let, let me say this, and I don't know if this is going to make sense. Okay. Um, my major gift is not that of the prophet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My major gift would be that of the apostle. Yes. Yes. My supporting gift will be yes. that of the prophet. Yes. Um, and I think sometimes because of accuracy, uh -huh. people tend to raise the supporting gift mm -hmm. because they see that, that the most. Explain that because I, I think that's what happens to I, I, I would say uh, 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 Dr. Bastin was just up and she said uh, she sings a little bit too. Yeah. And so somebody upon first hearing her ministry, yes. hearing her worship, hearing her sing, yes. will think that she is a singer. Yes. And so they will begin to reference her as a singer. Yes. She'll go all across the country as a singer mm -hmm. because that's what they first heard her as, mm -hmm. not realizing that she was just singing to set the atmosphere for the prophetic. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in the body of Christ, we see only a part of what God is doing through a person uh -huh. and we grab a hold to that part. Mm -hmm. And if we're not careful, if we're not careful, Dr. I keep wanting to say prophetess, <laughs> if we're not careful, what we will do is we will amplify the, the minor, mm -hmm. you know, and leave the major alone. So do you believe that people in the body of Christ have been mislabeled? Yes, very much mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Mm -hmm. And then what's sad is they're comfortable uh -huh. in being mislabeled. Mm -hmm. Because it's popular now. I'm mm -hmm. being used. I'm getting my bills paid. People are knowing who I am. Uh -huh. So let me just work in this lower vein of God for my life. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's good. It's easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no stress, no strain, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think it's always comfortable for us to work in an area that we have already bypassed. Uh -huh. uh, you, you're a doctor. There are a few doctors probably in the audience. Some, yes. I'm sure there are countless on, uh, that are following and watching you now. Yes. Um, and they will tell you that where they got, where, where, what it took them to get where they're at. It took study, it took uh, more study, it took research, it took development, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. When you hand them something uh, that is on their level, it's mm -hmm. going to take another level of study. Yes, yes. However, yes. if I was to give them some kindergarten, first grade, second grade, mm -hmm. third grade work, mm -hmm. they would do it with ease. Mm -hmm. The only problem with that is when you cease to challenge me, I cease to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are doing what they do with ease, not realizing God is a God of challenge. Mm -hmm. He wants to see us stretch out in him. Mm -hmm. He wants to see us go to the next level. And then I, I, I've become comfortable with ease, mm -hmm. but ease doesn't do nothing for my spirit. So I have a question. This is some good stuff. I have a question. So someone who is mislabeled, mm -hmm. what ministry gift is able to pull them up and pull them out? I, I would say I would say two things. I always say to those that are around me, I have a couple of my members and students here. Yes. And I'll always say there's a movie called X-Men. Yes. No, yes, yes, I know where you're going. Watch TV. <laughs> you know, he watches TV. Ooh. And so, so X-Men is, they are a bunch of mutants. Yes. Well, in yes. X-Men number three, yes. there is one mutant that his mutation is, nobody can be a mutant around him. Mm. Every time they come around him, their mutation dries up. Mm. But I think I'm the opposite way. Every time somebody comes around me with a gift, it's mm -hmm. stirred up. My God. That's the apostolic grace that's on my life. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I, I never try to be a prophet around other prophets mm -hmm. because that's their major gift. Yes. There's no need for me to use my mutation of being a prophet when <laughs> prophets are around. Does that make sense? Yes, it, it doesn't, does. doesn't need, There's no need for me to try to teach a teacher yes, other yes. than mentoring them. Yes, there's yes. no need for me to try to stir up the evangelist yes. other than putting them in a place that they should be so yes. they can evangelize. Yes, I yes. think a lot of times we are forced into areas that we're not called into. Yes. We operate in them, and then when a gift comes along, when a gift uh, comes by us, when we draw a gift, when you go to uh, the Break on Mountain Conference, yes, yes. and something is stirred up in you, if you're not careful, you become frustrated at the place who held you down from the gift that you should have been operating in. Say that again. <laughs> well, in, in, in layman's terms, in layman's terms, if you don't go where God wants you to go, yes. when you finally do come into contact with a gift that will stir up the gift that's in you, yes, yes. you'll become frustrated at the leader that didn't push you to where you should have been. Oh my God, that's my testimony right there. <laughs> all, all I have to do right now is lay out and just put a sheet on top of me. I know exactly 
what you're talking about. And there might be many out there. Many, many. The body of Christ is filled, filled with them. Filled with them. And then the Lord will, there was a season that we, um, if I could just talk. Go ahead. There, there was a season that we had um, all of these conferences uh, yes. that arose out of nowhere. They came yes. out of nowhere. Yes, yes. And then all of the, the pastors were starting to preach. Don't go to the conference. Come back to the local church. Mm -hmm. And so for a season, God obliged them. The Bible even says that he went at the ignorance. And so yes. he obliged them. He mm -hmm. sent everybody back to the local house, to yes. the local church. Yes. But then yes. the local church was not raising up the gifts. Mm -hmm. So God decided to raise up another remnant of conferences yes. that are going to sharpen the gifts. Yes. It's up to us as pastors. Because I'm a pastor. Yes. It's up yes. to us as pastors to trust where our people are going. Uh -huh. You have to guard them yes. with their teacher, with their guardian. Yes. To trust where they're going yes, so yes, that they yes. can be sharpened to come back to the fold yes. and do what needs to be done. The sad part is mm -hmm. that a lot of pastors are insecure with who they are. So they will release their people to greater. They will be releasing them to go to another ministry rather than releasing them to be helped to come back to my help God, the house. My God, my God. And it hinders wow. their ministry. Yes, it does. It does. Fear will grip a ministry. I mean, we are a people of faith. Come yes, on. Yes, Let's yes. be honest. Now. Yes. We are people of faith. Yes, we're yes, talking yes. to a God we've never seen. Yes. We're hearing from a God we've never seen. Yes, you know, yes, we're yes. operating in a spirit that we've never seen before. Yes, yes, so we are a people of faith. Faith goes beyond just a house and a car to us. Faith goes in speaking in tongues. No, 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 nobody can teach you tongues. -uh. It's not like it's uh, English as a second language. It's not Spanish or, or French. Nobody can teach you tongues. Yes, so everything yes. that we do, we are doing it in faith. The problem is we have become comfortable with some areas of faith. Mm. Come on, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit over, just a little bit over 125 pounds. Mm. And I sat inside of this chair yes. thinking that this chair is going to hold me. Yes, That's yes. faith. Yes, yes, the yes. same faith that it took for me to squeeze myself in here yes. is the same faith that is going to take me to stretch myself out, out there. Mm. My God, my God, my God, my God. And you know what's amazing, and, and just listening to you, let me go back a little bit with the, with the, with the insecurity. When we find that in the body. Be careful with that. Uh. <laughs> we find in the body of Christ it stifles even the revival that God yes. wants to birth. Yes, and that's that's kind of what I wanted to talk about tonight. I didn't yes. know how we were going to get into that. Mm -hmm. I, I believe I believe one of the calls on my life, the assignment on my life, is that of revival. Yes. Um, yes. I believe God has called me for that specific person. Mm -hmm. I tell anybody I'm not a great preacher. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be. I, uh, I revelate the word of God because I love the Bible itself first. Yes, yes, and yes. then I love God also. Yes, yes, and so, yes. But I believe that the Lord is calling for a remnant of people. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter number one, except the Lord saved the remnant, yes. Israel would have been lost. Yes. And I think what God is, let, let me tell you some revelation I got the other day. Go, 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 we're, go, go. we're in New York and so I was coming down, um, I think that's the FBR drive. Yes. And for the first time I saw what they call a barge. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that real long garbage dump yes, uh, yes. that goes through the Hudson. Yes. And I looked at the barge, and the Lord said to me, take notice of it. I took notice of it, and in my spirit, I started saying, well, that's the church. You know, look at all the garbage on it. God is trying to move us to another uh -huh. place in him. Now, the Lord said, look at what's carrying or what's pulling the barge. Uh -huh. There was a boat that it was no bigger than this altar here <laughs> that was pulling this big barge. Yes. And the Lord said to me, that's the remnant that is carrying my the body God, of Christ. My God, mm, my God. They are pulling a load yes. that from my the God. natural eye, you would never believe they're able to pull the load. Mm. Then the Lord said, but take notice on what's helping them pull the load. Uh -huh. The water was making it easy uh -huh. for the tugboat to pull the load. My and God. that's the Holy Ghost trying to make it easy for that remnant of people mm -hmm. like Dr. Bass and like yourself mm -hmm. to carry a load that if we were just to put it on another surface, it'll never go anywhere. My God. Without the Holy Ghost, we're not going anywhere. Oh and God. so we need a fresh revival in our church. Yes, not yes, just yes. a fresh revival of worship. I'm watching all of these new praise and worship leaders come up, and that's all good. I'm not yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah. I'm watching all of these new uh, gifts come up in the body of Christ. I'm watching babies that are 20 years old, and they got 12 and 13 doctorate degrees. I don't know how they did that at 20 years old. But I'm watching all of this kind of stuff happen, and I'm saying to myself, the one thing that's needed for revival yes. is not there. The one person that's needed for revival is not there. The Holy Ghost has left our churches. We have to be behind our church. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. 
My if anybody God. open up the door and let me in, I'll come in and sup with them. That is literally Christ saying, I'm standing outside watching y'all have church inside. Come on, let me in. And so that tells me we are able to fully function in the house of God yes. without God himself being my there. My God, my God, my God. I want you to step back. That's some good stuff. I want you to step back just a little bit. It might be somebody that's watching that don't know what the term revival means. Okay. They hear it, but okay. they're like, okay, revival, revival means even... Um, Today with um, Billy Graham going home and yes. there was a prophecy that was saying that once he transitioned, that revival is going to birth forth in the land. I want you to explain a little bit about what is revival and what does it mean to us as children of God? Let, let, let me say two things. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on TV or not. I believe this is me prophetically mm -hmm. and I, I know we got at least one prophet here, at least two or three here. Mm -hmm. And so I believe when, when the Lord called Dr. Graham home, yeah. there was a changing of the guards. Mm -hmm. It was a changing of the guards. Yes, yes, I yes. don't believe this is me speaking prophetically. Yes. I will take the, the blame, the hit for it. Yes. I do not believe that one person will carry his mantle. Mm. I believe that the Lord will allow his mantle to be spread across many people. Yes. Uh, many people. We yes. want the same job done, but it will take many of us to get it done. Yes, yes, um, yes. And so I believe that revival is not a... This is, this is the key. We often say revival is an awakening, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it is not an awakening or a, it is not a rebirth. Yes. It is an awakening. Mm. In other words, it is not creating something that was never there. It is waking something up that was there that has been sleeping. My God. My God. And so I believe, uh, 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 real simple, I believe if we were to, everybody see me slingshot. Yes. And a slingshot, you know, you put the rock, you put whatever it is mm -hmm. inside of the rubber band and mm -hmm. you pull back for resistance. Yes. I believe revival for us is like that slingshot. Mm. God is pulling the church back My God. to a day that we left. Mm. So he can propel us forward to a day that we need to be. My God. My God. I believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe we're going back to first century church. Uh -huh. I believe we're going back to the power of God. Yes. You know, I, I've always been one that kicked against deliverance ministries. Yes. But I believe we're going back to sheets being on the floor. Yes, sir. I believe we're going back to purging. Yes, I believe yes, we're going yes. back to laying hands. Yes, yes. I don't know if we're still going to do that. Okay. I'm not going to stop talking. I believe we're going back to that. I believe yes, we're going yes, back to yes, the day yes. when we were coming up. They would say, run to the bathroom and pee that cans out. Mm -hmm. Pee that tomb out. Mm -hmm. You know, drop it in the toilet. Yes. I believe we're going back to that day. Yes, I believe we're going back to the day where garments are going to be taken off the preacher. Yes. And they're going to be put on the people. And we're going to see cancers dry yes. up. My God. I believe that yes. God is going to send an influx yes. of people with HIV and AIDS yes. into yes. the church. Yes. And say, let me see the God that you said yes. is able to heal. My God. See, they're already in here, yes, but they're yes, afraid yes. to release what they're going through. Yeah, so yeah. God's going to send some people in that are almost dead and gone. My God, my God. And who are the revival carriers? Well, let, let, let me tell you something. I, I believe this much. I believe revival carriers, I, if I can reference Dr. because ahead, Dr. was up ahead, here before me. And so I believe revival carriers are not people who have studied, um, who not who they might be smart mm -hmm. academic wise, mm -hmm. they may be, but I believe revival carriers are people who have walked through some situations that only God can bring them out of. My God, I believe the Lord allows people to go through things so that He can allow them to be used for somebody else. Yes, yes. I don't yes, think yes. we walk through stuff for ourselves. I don't think we walk through stuff just for testimony. Yes. I think we walk through it so we can carry a, a, a weight of God on us. We won't buckle under pressure. Yes. I'm a person that um, I like horses. Yes. People ask me why I like horses. I like horses for a few reasons. They're gentle giants. Yes. But I like the fact that whatever you put on a horse's back yes. is going to position itself to, to handle the load. Oh my God. And I think the Lord is going to use those people that are saying, God, I'm not here for fame. Mm -hmm. I'm not here for fortune. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to amplify myself. Mm -hmm. I'm here to glorify you. Mm -hmm. If you decide to use me, I'm going to give you all the glory. Yes, sir. And I think that's the remnant that he's going to use. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even think the Lord is concerned anymore with age. Mm -hmm. I think tradition has gotten us caught up with age. Yes, yes, and I think yes. the Lord is going to use those that have walked through situations yes. that are able to carry the glory and not take the glory. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense oh, to you Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing even as you were sharing and you were talking and we just find out that in this season, you can feel it. You can feel yes. something happening. Yes. In the it, it, it's just like the earth is like, it's, 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 it's about to, it's, it's just, yes. I can't even explain it, but yes. you can just feel something about to happen. Yes. And we need to position ourselves. Yes, very much so. And, and it's funny you said that because I, I was just, a scripture came to my mind uh, a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I, this is my Bible. I have a Bible phone. <laughs> uh, it, it came to my mind. And, and, and I don't know why it came to my mind. But here, I know in the King James Version, yes. it says, um, it says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Yes. Isaiah 43 and 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Lord said to me a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, He said, Read it out of the Message Bible. Okay. Watch what the same verse says out of the Message Bible. Yes. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history. Mm. But the next part says, Be alert mm. and be present. Mm. I'm about to do something brand new. I know that's right. And I think a lot of us are not prepared mentally yes. for revival. Mm. You know, we're frustrated, we're tired, we're wounded. Uh, most people are ready to throw in the towel. I'm talking about mm -hmm. church folk now. Yeah, yeah, so my yeah. folks have been holding on to the horns of the altar. Mm -hmm. They're tired. They are becoming weary in their spirits. And so because of that, uh, if, if anybody know anything about being tired, mm -hmm. you miss your bus when you're tired. Yes. You miss your plane when you're tired. Yes. You miss, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go somewhere this weekend. And if I get an early flight, I stay up all night. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm tired, if I happen to sleep, I miss it. Yeah. And so I wind up staying up all night just mm -hmm. to make sure I'm on time. Yeah. And that says that God's going to do a new thing. Yeah. And we're not talking about a house of car, but there's a new glory coming. Mm -hmm. There's a new glory coming. Yeah. And there are people that are not alert for it. Mm -hmm. So they miss it because they're slumbering. Mm -hmm. They miss it because they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. They miss yeah. it because they're weary. Mm -hmm. The next part says be present. Mm -hmm. Most people are present physically. But not present mentally. Yes, yes, if, you, yes. if, if I would say, Doctor, I got you a silver S500 sitting outside. Here are the keys to it. Uh -huh. Here is the deed to it. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's full of gas. It's yours. If you have never envisioned that car, yes. you'll walk right past it. Mm, my God. Like most that. of us have never envisioned what the glory of God or even the next level of God looks like. Mm. And so when God comes into a room, we call it fanaticism. Uh, uh, when God yes, comes into yes, a room, yes, we say yes, it's yes. drama. Yes. When God comes into the room, we say don't take all of that. Or we stifle the, or spirit. We stifle the spirit of God because yes. they've never envisioned what God's mm. working, what it looks like. My God. My God. <laughs> <laughs> my God. One of the things as you were, were sharing that's really been in my spirit is that for this revival and this glory that God wants to bring in the earth and have manifested, there are people mm -hmm. or spirits that the enemy has, uh, gatekeepers mm -hmm. that he has put in place. And I believe that there's going to be a great shifting mm -hmm. in the realm of the spirit. I believe that there's people that have been in position and been in powers of authority. We're just going to see them just be removed in the season. Are you talking about... Uh, 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 enemies or even some people who have been assigned by God. Because the reality okay, is that, that there are even <laughs> some that have been assigned by God uh -huh. and their time is just up. Yes, yes. The season is over. The season is over. Yes, uh, season and then is there over. are some enemies that have been in place that the church has glorified. Mm -hmm. And so God says, I'm even tired of them being glorified mm -hmm. and not being effective. Yes, I yes, said yes, couple, yes. I said a couple, I think it was last night when yes. I was talking to you. Yes. There, 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 are, there is a plethora of prayer ministries coming up yes. out of nowhere. Yes. I mean, you got prayer movements, prayer networks, prayer associations, <laughs> uh, prayer whatever. I mean, and, and, and I said to myself, now with all of this prayer going on, we ought to see some dimensional changes by now. Yes, yes, and yes. so the Lord said to me, it's not that they are not uh, doing an assignment. Mm -hmm. A lot of them that I have never assigned, I'm allowing them to bring the attention to the subject of prayer. Yes. So the remnant that I did call can be effective. My God. In, in other words, there are some people that will never hear of Dr. Tanya Williams, but they will hear of uh, Evangelist Silver Circle. Mm -hmm. And Evangelist Silver Circle ain't got no power. Mm -hmm. But she will put in a hunger for the people to go to prayer. Yes. And then they'll find out that she's not fulfilling that need. They'll search out a Dr. Tanya Williams. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And since when you eat junk long enough, yes. you will appreciate good food. That's it. That's it.
connections, they may not have the know-how, they may not have the smarts, yeah. but they got the heart that yeah. says, God, if you ever use me, I'm going to do it to your glory. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. believe he'll rather use somebody that's going to give him the glory yeah. than somebody that's going to take his glory from yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, he wants to be the one you know, that gets all of the praise and honor. Right. And there is a remnant of people that says, God, I'm not in this for no other reason other than your name being magnified. My I God. want to make your name great and not my own. My God. I often say about us, and I know it's not a good thing to say, doctor, but I often say about us, it, 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 in this day and time, it's foolish for us to want to be at the top of ministry. Because anybody with good sense know that the crab that gets to the top of the barrel first gets cooked. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey. I know that may not, that may not make a whole lot of sense. But you keep crawling to the top. You know, I, 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 watch, I watch doctor. I, I listened with an ear when yeah. doctor was saying God's going to invade. Yes, Let me just yes, tell you yes. something. I often say to people that I'm sinless. I'm, I'm, I'm blameless. I'm not sinless. Yes, yes. And when you are when you are ascribing to get to the top and ascribing to do great things, when you are ascribing uh, to be known, when you are ascribing that you know I'm going to become popular, then 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 all of your impurities come out. Oh, yes, wow. yes, yes, because yes. the enemy's got to show your impurities to tell you back down. Yes, yes, but yes. God's got to show your impurities to keep you up there. My God. Wow. My God. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. <laughs> my God. My God. The man just left me speechless. <laughs> Let me give a thought to you. Let me give a thought to you. Because, you know, because I'm taking it all in and I'm trying to absorb it. And, oh, my God. Okay. So, good. Um, Now, we <laughs> That was some good nuggets. Wow. That was some good nuggets. Okay, so now let's touch upon those that are watching. How do you know that you're called to be part of the remnant? Um, how do you know you're called to be a part of the remnant? Let, let me tell you what I often tell my students yes. who are always hungry yes. and eager to do. Yes. When you are hungry and eager to do, you're not called to do. Mm. The person who don't want to do it. It's the person that does not want to do it that God is called to do it. <laughs> do you know how many? I want to interject that. Do you know how many times me and Jesus done had conversations, arguments, arguments, falling out, everything? But in the final analysis, I still lift up my hand and so. I say yes because sometimes you say to yourself, "Well, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have this." But like he said, you got the will and heart. And when you have the heart for God and the heart to do what God has called you to do, he will take care of the rest. Well, God doesn't call you to do anything that you can do in your flesh. That's true. Well, he always calls you wow. to an insurmountable feat yes. when he calls you. Yes. Because that way you have no other choice but to depend on him. Yes. If you can do it on your own, then you would never need him. Then he's not God. Yes. And so he calls you to a thing that's greater than you are. Yes. You know, the only thing you have to do is be willing to get the job done. Mm. Uh, if you look in the life of David, look in the life of David, David defeated Goliath. Yes. You know, um, he defeated Goliath, who the Bible says was nine feet, nine inches tall. Uh -huh. He defeated him with one rock. You know, they mm. say he put four or five in his bag. Yes. He defeated him with one rock. Well, go back to a question that you asked earlier. Yes. When, 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 when they asked David, what makes you qualified to fight this giant? Mm -hmm. He says, I defeated the lion and the bear. Yes. Now, I don't have a problem with that because he said he did it. Yeah. I have a problem with the fact that we've never seen him do it. Mm -hmm. But he said he did it. Yes. But then I realized something. There are some private battles that will give us public victories. Yeah. Yeah. God won't allow people to see our battles. Mm -hmm. Because just in case we don't come out of it, he'll still get glory. Yes, 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 and so yes. there's some private battles we go through yes. that God will give us public victories. Yes, yes, and I think yes. a lot of times uh, people want... That, that's good to me, Master. Y'all, please forgive me. A lot of times, a lot of times, people want they they, they want public battles. Yes, 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 yes. Because that gets your name at the top. Yes, get yes. you a good Facebook view, and people gonna make you famous. Bishop, you were so in the spirit because I was sharing with someone the other day. I'm like, we gotta stop this foolishness yes. on Facebook, yes. the, the social media platforms. And I mean, sometimes you going through stuff. Go through. Yes. Don't take the rest of us with you. Yes. Oh, I fell. I bust my knee here. I'm sitting yes. in the emergency room. The yes. blood of Jesus is yes. in the emergency room and just get your knee fixed. Yes. You know, so go ahead. I'm sorry. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It, it, it's a spirit of attention. Yes. Uh, 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 and if, if we're not careful, 
nine times out of ten people draw attention to themselves yes. so they can draw attention away from something for a reason. Ah. Uh, and, and, and if you draw attention to yourself, you know, it's it's probably because you have a low self-esteem on the inside. Yes. You know, this is your way of becoming known or people yes. feeling sorry for you and all that kind of stuff. Yes. But I find out something. I find out when you draw attention to yourself, you draw it away from God. Mm. Wow. And the reality is, as yes. big as he is, yes. he's still jealous. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm, yes. at this point, I don't want none of the glory. He can have it all. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. The bishop has spoken. The bishop has spoken. And the man of God has just dropped so many good nuggets on tonight. And I want you to take heed to it. You know, we're, we're, we're conversing and we're going forth. But the man of God is sharing some things that we as people of God need to take hold to and to grab hold to. Because you want to be part of this remnant. I don't know about you. I don't want to be outside of this revival. I want to, I, I want to be a part of what God is saying. Do you feel that there's a wooing? of those that are being called to this season to get into placement and alignment? I believe, and again, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of soft-spoken, but I'm outspoken in some areas. Uh -huh. I believe that the real people God has called, mm -hmm. I believe they're hidden under the folks that want to be famous. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's causing frustration in them because they know they have something to offer, mm -hmm. but their place is being occupied by now. Mm. There is a person who is appointed but not anointed. Come on, yeah. That not only That's goes for David, but that even went for Jeremiah and Pasha. Uh -huh. There's a person who's in position but doesn't have the oil of God Come for on. that position. Yes, yes, yes. And so we 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 you back preach up. to the choir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. We, we back up on what we're called to do mm -hmm. because we see somebody doing it who's ineffective. Yeah, that causes frustration. Oh my us. God! Oh. And, and let me tell you how, how we are in the body of Christ. Yeah, we, 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 we so we so again. That, that's my partner today, so I'm going to refer back to her. Okay. We 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 will we will pay when she said two hundred sixty dollars. I said that's not a lot of money for a conference mm -hmm. registration. We'll pay three and four and five times that for a conference that's on a bigger scale, yes. but less informative, yes. less anointed, yes. you know, less occupied with the glory of God. Yes. Usha. Mm. Go ahead, man. No God. presence of God, mm. but because the name draw us, we yes. go there. God didn't draw us, the name drew us there. Yes. Yes. And when the name drew us, we went for a personality and not for a real person. Yes. Wow. Yes. And yes. so, and I think because of that, a lot of people who God has called to do summits, he's called to do prayer watches, he's yes. called to put out different things that are going to help the body of Christ, yes. we draw back. We draw back because those seats are occupied with people who have been appointed. And let me just tell you about the appointments. Yes. Some of these appointments didn't come from God. Okay. Some of them came from people in their flesh. Yes, 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 yes. We made people famous. Yes, yes. And God yes. says they sitting up in the earth realm, but they ain't standing up in heaven. Mm, my God. And so I think a lot of the remnant that God has called is drawing back because of that. They're afraid to go forward. They're afraid to use their gifts. They're afraid to call a conference. They're afraid to uh, put something on great without a certain backing yes. because nobody's going to support them. Folks don't support no more because of God. Right. They support because of people. Yes, right. yes. And that's sad. Yes, yeah. You know, as you were talking and you were talking about the large conferences and sometimes people got not sometimes, but we have to understand it's not in the names. It's not. Sometimes we miss it and there'll be little brother Smojo in the corner Very come take so. the mic and I just rip it. the whole church I up. You know, we got to stop. You know, as the man of God was saying that, you know, we have to, uh, the, let me step back a little bit. When, like, 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 even when I'm preparing for my conference, for the summit, and this man of God going to be with us this year, this is we pray so And um, I pray. And I asked the Lord, I said, God, I said, you tell me who you want. Because people are investing they're investing their time, they're investing their money, they're, they're investing, you know, into their next level, and you want the right people in place. And it might not be people that's known to everybody, but I want them known at the throne room of God. Because if God don't know them, I don't care if everybody else knows them, that don't mean a, a, a thing to me. Uh, people come to me, well, why, well, why don't you get Bishop so-and-so? And he's on this platform. And he'll come for you and da-da-da. I said, God didn't say that. And because God didn't say that, I'd rather get someone where I can wake up and I'll go to Facebook Live and God said, that's the person that I want. I'll pick up that phone and say, I don't know you. 
People don't know you, but God said, I want you there. So when you were sharing about that, and I think that's a desire that we need to have in the body of Christ. You shared something a couple of minutes ago that really blessed me is that we're in churches and we're in places where they're doing things, but God is nowhere in it. God is nowhere in it. And I want to get to a place where I should be able to feel God in the prayer, in the scripture reading, in the praise and worship, even in the offering. Come on. Because it's because it's his house. But why, but but why is it? And even when you go places and the preacher gets up and preach, and I was at an event this past weekend. And the uh, bishop who was preaching, and she said that people are creating fancy messages for a big honorarium, but there is no change. Mm. I'm pressing my way for change. Well, I, I, I don't blame them, Prophet. I, I don't blame them. My, my, my father was a, uh, he was basically an old Baptist deacon, so he wasn't very careful with his mouth. <laughs> but he said, when you find a donkey, you ride it. Mm. Wow. Mm. And so I don't blame them. Mm. I don't blame them. If you pay $5,000 for them to come because they have a name and no oil, I don't blame them. Mm. I blame the person who's writing the check. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame them. Mm. I blame us because we want an end result that's not God. Mm. We would rather an end result of 5,000 people than five souls being saved. Oh we rather the end result of saying we had a successful meeting because it was packed. Yeah. Nobody was healed. Nobody was delivered, no yokes destroyed, no demons casted out. Mm -hmm. You know, folks are going to leave your conference, they're gonna go eat and go go commit suicide. Mm -hmm. But you were happy because you 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 got numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. I don't blame the people for what they ask for now. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. I blame the people that call for them. My we're God. not even calling for folks no more to give us change. Mm -hmm. We're calling for folks that are gonna bring a crowd with yes, them. Yes, we yes. even say stupid stuff like, uh, well, are they gonna draw people? Nobody's going to bring God with them. Ah. Because, uh, uh, nobody's going to come. Well, let's get this one because that one's going to draw a crowd. Yes. Now, that one ain't had a relationship with God since the Lord knocked them off their horse like he did Saul. Yes, yes, they don't yes. talk to him. They don't have no conversation with him. All they are is a Facebook image. But because they're tearing up Facebook, yes. we go and call them. Mm -hmm. And don't realize that we're leaving our people destitute. We might meet our budget, yes. but the people are leaving destitute. My God, my God, my God. And I believe that that's the change that's coming. I believe, it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I believe that's the change that's coming. I believe that we're going back to the day of the local church. Yes. I believe God's going to raise up some storefront ministries. Yes. And I'm watching this. And, 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 and I, if I can say this to your, ahead, your viewers, um, if, if, if we've noticed something, you know, I won't give names because, but if you notice some gifts yes. now are being raised up yes. with storefront anointings. Yes. We're yes, seeing yes. folks throw sheets again on public TV, yes. on in mass conferences. Yes. We're seeing people, uh, uh, we got some women of God that are tied, handkerchiefs around yes. necks, all that's old storefront stuff yes, that yes. God is raising back yes, up yes. because the people need it. They don't need fame no more. They don't need fortune. They don't need nobody that's going to... Uh, come in and tickle their fancy. Mm -hmm. They want to see the real, authentic power of God. Yeah. And I, 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 when I first heard it taught, it was taught in a negative light. Yes. The Bible says in John chapter number two, uh, John chapter number six, yes. the Bible says that they followed him for the fishes and loaves. Yes. The Bible says they followed him because they saw the miracles he was doing. Yes. And, and, and the first preacher that I heard preaching, he said, oh, folks was following God because he was doing great stuff. Well, why in the world wouldn't I follow him because he's doing great stuff? Amen. If the church is producing yes. healing, yes. if yes. the church is producing miracles, yes. if the church is producing answers, yes. the church will be filled again. Amen. And Amen. not filled with these proselytes that come from church to church yes. and religion to religion, but filled with authentic people who will come to God and say, what must I do to be saved? Amen. And the only way Amen. we want to see that, we got to go back to seeing that happen again. Amen. You How know, God's going to Gonna send some tumors that are gonna be dried up. Again. My God, my God. Even even as the saying, it just reminds me about well, actually three years ago when I was doing the summit and the Lord spoke to me, he says, I need you to inc incorporate the Holy Ghost through. And what the Lord said to me, he says, You get those mothers in there mm -hmm. and you tell the people if you don't have the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you go in there. And the mothers will work them people till they came out with That's the whole cuss word now. They don't carry no more. No. Mm -hmm. They don't take all that. Mm -hmm. you know, when I was coming up, they used to they, they, they used to 
used to call on Jesus yeah. until it wasn't Jesus anymore. It was just G G G G G They come out to be foaming. They call that purging him. And 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 if if you were in your flesh, you got confused because one was on this side saying hold on. The other one was on this side saying, let go. Uh -huh. And so if using your flesh, you didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. But one mother was saying, hold on to God. Yes, one yes. was saying, let go of sin. Yes, and yes, he was yes. in the middle calling on Jesus. Yes. And we saw authentic salvation take yes, place. Yes. We saw authentic feelings take place. Yes. And we didn't see people that kept coming back to the altar every year for the same thing. Yes, yes, we yes, saw yes, people yes, that yes. got filled with the Holy yes, Ghost. Yes. Now, I know it's not proper to say, uh -huh. but they used to say, you got it and got it like the Bible said. Yeah, my. Because some folk had it, but they didn't have it like the Bible said. And you know what's amazing? That, that that three years ago, he said the Holy Ghost room. And then last year, he said to me, he says, now nah, I, need, I need a deliverance room. Because my people are saved. They got the Holy Ghost, but they're not delivered. And that's the oil, I believe, like you said earlier, the oil that God is bringing back yeah. into the body of Christ. Yeah. We got to get delivered. Yeah. We got, we're sitting in churches and we're bound. Yeah. We're, sitting, we're sitting in churches and we go out there, we do whatever we want to do and come back and clap our hands. But yet, we're still bound in our emotions, we're still bound in our mind, we're still bound in our spirit. But the Bible says, whom the sun sets free, free is free indeed. And I believe that's part of the revival that God is bringing back into the body of Christ is that deliverance. Getting back on, honey, uh, I, I know we on TV, but getting back and the paper towels. Yeah, purging. Mm -hmm. Getting all that stuff yeah. out. Honey, the, the minister just sweated out, but that person got up and they got out changed. Yeah. And I believe that's the oil he wants to bring back. I, I think we have modernized God. Yes. I think we've modernized him. We, we, we must be very careful with re revelation. Yes. Because uh, with revelation comes, sometimes we outsmart ourselves. Yes. And so, you know, we said it didn't take all of that mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. And we've learned different ways to do it now. Mm -hmm. But we've almost weakened the things of God. Yes. You know, this is tea that we have. And uh, when I first got it, I used to always tell them, don't give me two tea bags because yes. it makes it too strong. Yes. You know, but then I find out something. I can't go back for a second cup with one tea bag. Mm. Because I've taken all the strength out of the first one. Mm. And so what we're doing is trying to pour more water yes. on something that is already weak. My God. And by the time we get through <laughs> with it, it's no longer tea, it's just water. My God. And we have we have left the things of God. And because it don't take all that, it don't yes. take tarry no more. Mm -hmm. You know, you got preachers that are sweating and stuff, it don't take all that. No disrespect to nobody. Mm -hmm. Now they walk in, they got the mic with me. Disrespect to everybody. Go ahead. <laughs> they're walking, you know, it, it, they're calm. Tea. You can't, if, if you were to turn the sound off, yeah. you would think most of these churches are overgrown seminar. Mm. It's nobody being purged, nobody nope. being, nobody doing nothing, just sitting there looking, and you got a man or woman walking in front of them, instructing them like they're in the classroom. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Mm. I'm saying that. Somewhere along the line, if you come to my church, the Holy Ghost got to be laced in there somewhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, somebody sir. better speak in tongues. Yes, somebody better quicken. Yes, you know, yes, so yes, I better yes. see somebody run up and down the aisle. Yes, because yes, yes. I wouldn't have a God that I couldn't feel. I, know that's I didn't come here just to sit here and look. I can go to the classroom for that. I can go any other place and sit back and watch myself be fed, be taught, and not interact with it. Yes, I yes, often yes, say yes, to my yes, church, yes, I often yes, say yes. stuff like, say amen to me, mm -hmm. because that helps me realize that you're getting it. Yes, you know, yes. folks, oh, Bishop, we getting it, you know, we, I'm just writing it down. Now, something is wrong. If you can write down the whole message and you ain't quick and it ain't scratch, scribble all over that paper, you ain't <laughs> feel the power of God nowhere, mm -mm. something's wrong with that. Something is wrong when we can time every service yes. and say, we're going to be out by 8.30, Bishop going to get up at 8.12, and we're going to be out by 8.30. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Yes. You mean to tell me God didn't come in? Mm -hmm. God didn't take over? He didn't have his way? I understand that the Spirit is subject to the prophet. Yeah, I understand yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, there there comes a time when the Holy Ghost interrupts our program. Yes. When he invades our space. Yes. When he invades our time. Yes. And he says, I come here to throw my weight around. Uh -huh. Because although you came in with an agenda, somebody came in here to interrupt my agenda. Mm -hmm. Somebody's pulling on me to work. Yes. And I got to respond to the pull that they have on me. Amen. 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 Woo. Woo. See, we are like-minded. So that, that's, that's why... This is working so well. When you were talking, uh, there's times where I have gone to churches to minister and to preach, 
And as I'm sitting there and, you know, the oil is moving so forth and so on, and you watch some of the leaders and the preachers, and I don't know if they're just nervous to launch out to the deep, like there'll be a demonic manifestation, they're like, come out, and then just walk away. And I'm like, no, boo-boo, no, <laughs> no, there's some things that you got to work on. There's some things that you got to, you, you, you have to break through, and I think sometimes people don't want to work. No, when it comes to working with people getting the Holy Ghost, you got to work. When it comes to people getting deliverance, there has to be some work involved. How many times, and don't forget yourself, how many times we've gone, we minister, we come back, the lady pastor too, because hair sweated out, but you know one thing, people got delivered and set free. Yes, sir. I think there's two reasons. I think number one, and I'm not saying that I'm an expert on this, but I think there's two reasons. I think number one is that um, ministry today, mm -hmm has made that uh, it's made that seem like it's demeaning mm -hmm. you know, it's demeaning to cast out devils mm -hmm. you can't get to and this is no disrespect to, oh, the, okay. to the platform I'm going to name mm -hmm. none whatsoever to the platform mm -hmm. but you can't get to a woman down on loose casting out devils mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't get to a grand scale like mm -hmm. hill song whatever those may, you can't get there doing that mm -hmm. and so you know we're not going to do that we're going to do it a different way mm -hmm. I think that's number one and I think number two is this. My, my mama, you know, said to me, when you do certain ministry, you got to be right. Yes. yes Folks are scared to cast out demons because <laughs> demons know what they were doing the night before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should have said that on, on TV. You said it. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I don't know if I should have said that. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's almost like That's a demon that said, well, well, Paul, I know. <laughs> Jesus, I know. But who are you? Well, so sometimes they go to them and say, hey, I know you. <laughs> right. When, when we were coming up, I don't know if we should be sharing this, but when we were coming up, demons talk back to yes, us. Yes, they do. You yes, know, what's your do. name? My name is Seymour. <laughs> All this other kind of stuff. I was in Dallas, Texas at a service <laughs> last year, uh -huh. and a young lady was demonically possessed. Yeah. Uh, the church that I went to, and I have to be totally honest, I didn't feel like wrestling with it because yeah. I felt like I was tired. Uh -huh. And so, but it acted up, and uh -huh. so... Uh, I said, listen, you know, we're we going we gonna to handle this thing real quick. You know, <laughs> what's your name? Uh -huh. The demon gave me her name. Not uh -huh. the girl's name, gave me her name. Uh -huh. And then um, I said, well, you know what? We're going to get you out of here. Uh -huh. And she said, I'm not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. She said, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going because she don't want me to go. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much power you got. She don't want me to go. Wow. And people are in amazement because this spirit is standing here talking to me. Yes, this yes. is not the young lady. This is this demon talking to me. Mm -hmm. Now, by this time, the apostles that invited me, I hope they ain't watching. But by this time, the apostles that invited me, they done deserted me. Everybody done <laughs> left me and standing there. Because most people are not, they are not equipped yes. with that type of ministry. Yes, you know, yes. they're not, they, they equipped with high five your neighbor, spin around and spit. Yeah. It, it's going to be all right. No, it ain't going to be all right. <laughs> we have some work to do. Yeah. We have we have work to do. God's people, Russia, yes, God. have suffered long enough. Yes, yes, yes. Not yes. at the hands of the devil, yes. but at the hands of untrained people of God. My God. They've suffered long enough. My God. And most of our enemies, we've trained them to be our enemy. My God. Because we didn't come in and do what needed to be done. Ooh, my God. And so God's people have suffered Say long that enough. Again. We, we, we have trained most of our enemies. How have we trained our enemies? Because we didn't train those to do what they were supposed to do against the enemy. My God. So the enemy knows how to come in. I know how to work with her because she ain't got no power. So I can do this. I know how to work with because all they're going to do is yell and scream, but ain't nothing behind it. Mm -hmm. So let me just get in with the praise. Let me give the loudest amen. Mm -hmm. Let me do whatever they're telling me to do, and I'm going to go right back out and wreak havoc into somebody's life because mm -hmm. I know that I will never be interrupted in this service. My God. My God. They come to church with us, <laughs> and they leave church with us, and they also multiply when they're in church. Oh, my God. Explain that. They also multiply. You will, If you have any spirit, you're not a pastor yet, mm -hmm. if you have any spirit in your church mm -hmm. that you never conquer, you never confront, you never go after, if you're not careful, it'll go from one person to two. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go to three, it goes to four. Mm -hmm. Then go to five, it go to 16. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense yes, to you? Yes, because yes. it multiplies. Mm -hmm. See, it's mm -hmm. easy if we can get it one at a time. Yes. We can stop it. But yes. it doesn't work like that. It uh -huh. multiplies. Mm -hmm. Satan, is his camp is dealing with rule and rank. Yes. It is only the
the children of God that are discombobulated, we're out of order, we don't know protocol in the natural, don't know protocol in the spirit. Yeah. We got young prophets who have just begun to prophesy, trying to out-prophesy Dr. Baston, who's been seasoned in it. Yes, because yes, we want to prove to her who she is. Yes. We want to get on her program. So let me show what I can do. That is out of the realm and the rank of the mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. Shut your mouth when you come into the presence mm -hmm. of a senior prophet. Mm -hmm. yes, Learn. Yes, if God gives you a word, make sure you have permission before you out try to try to outspeak them. We don't know that. And so Satan, because he deals with, come on, the Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, yes, but yes. against principalities, against powers, come on, against yes. rulers of yes. darkness of the world, spiritual wickedness in yes. high places. Yes. He is not, he is not, he will never send a private to attack you. He's coming at you with a sergeant, a lieutenant, and the further you go up in God, he's coming at you with a general. Yes, he yes, will yes, never yes. send a private after a general. He's sending a general after a general. Yes, and yes, if that yes. one general can't handle that one general in the spirit, he's sending two to handle that general. Mm. He's not foolish enough to send something that you can handle. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know if that made sense. Oh, no, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Oh, and that's how he's working. Mm -hmm. He's strategic in his doing. Mm -hmm. We're not strategic. Mm. We don't plan. Mm. We don't pray. Mm. We don't do nothing before we. I gotta go preach. You know, no disrespect to none of your viewers. I gotta go preach and so have my car pick me up, uh -huh. take me to the finest restaurants, mm. uh, take me to the mall shopping, mm. and do that by six thirty so I can come put my clothes on for seven thirty service. I want to get there at 7 30. I'm gonna sit in the green room, eat all of your fruit and shrimp that you have, <laughs> and then when you call me out to the platform five minutes before I preach, I'm gonna do what the Lord called me to do. Now you didn't spend no time in that hotel room no. praying. No. You didn't spend no time no. fasting. No. You didn't spend no time seeking the face of God. You didn't spend no time in warfare, listening to worship music, none of that kind of stuff. Let me tell you how crazy you are. The demons that you're gonna to try to fight, they have been preparing while you're yes. eating. Yes, 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 yes. So that's how we work. My God. Now, you hear all this good stuff coming from this man of God right here. He has many different platforms that you can be a part of. He has the School of the Prophets, and he also has the Prophetic Hub. Let's talk about the School of the Prophets. Okay. Well, let me tell you, one of the things that I, and, and I don't know if this is an indictment. I know you can attest to this, and I know Dr. Baston can attest to this. One of the things that I found out with the School of the Prophets, I used to do them quarterly, yes. right? I would not charge registration um, that I felt like they should have been charged. Yes, yes. Um, I would charge $50 for six weeks, mm -hmm. $75 for 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And I found out something. I found out that the body of Christ does not want to invest in right. their next level. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They right. do not want to invest right. in their next level. Mm -hmm. And so, because I felt like I was um, not even teaching in remnant, I was just teaching and pouring into those who were assigned to my life. Mm -hmm. In other words, those that I already mentor, mm -hmm. they were doing it because they understood the value of it. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of cut it off from being a school so much. And I still do maybe one or two uh, prophetic summits. We call them schools. Yes. Um, maybe three times a year. Mm -hmm. um, but then there was something that I felt was a little bit easier. Yes. And so we started something called a prophetic hub on Facebook. Yes. Um, basically, it is a group of prophets interacting with one another mm -hmm. once a week i put a written teaching on there probably on tuesdays mm -hmm. and then once a week against i hate tv i hate the camera against all of that on thursday nights i do a live teaching for about an hour yeah. it is not lucrative but it's informative yes. and so i feel like if i keep being informative then god will send lucrative yes he will yes he will and i'm actually for those of you who are interested uh, in his prophetic hub, I guess you can, um, you can, they probably can go to your page. Yeah, and they it's can on the Facebook, link. just go to the prophetic hub. The prophetic hub, and I've, I've been out there, I, I, usually Thursday nights, I'm, I'm out there and I'm watching. The information that he shares is absolutely wonderful. Uh, you will learn, and I mean, it's to a point that even you can ask questions and, you know, put little questions in the, um, in the, in the, in the, in the comments, and um, he takes the time and he shares and he has different topics that he goes forth. And I'm telling you, like he said, you know, a lot of a lot of things that we do, we do because of our heart. And so many times people do things because of the lucrativeness that he was just saying. But when you take care of God's business, yes. he'll take care of yeah, yours. Very much so. And I see, I'm up there, you see hundreds of people coming on. You see them coming on, watching, why? Because they know that the impartation is pure. I have it. 
I haven't. Um, I didn't ask to do this. I didn't ask to be you called. Mandated. I didn't ask to uh, do ministry. Mm -hmm. I, I really want to do something else. Mm -hmm. You know, at my church often hear me say, "I want to. I want to ranch, a couple of you know horses. I, I want to do something like that." I don't want to do ministry. Ministry is cutthroat. Mm -hmm. Ministry is doggy dog. Mm -hmm. Ministry is big eyes and little use. Mm -hmm. And these are God's people. Mm -hmm. um, and so I never wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I should not push myself into doing it. Mm -hmm. Just do what he's called me to do. Amen. I do nothing more, nothing less. I can't go wrong if I do nothing more, nothing less. Amen. 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 So if you're interested, you can go to Please. Facebook. Uh, the prophetic hub and yes. if they're interested in the school of the prophets how yes. can they be they part can, of that they can go to bishopz.com mm -hmm. and just leave contact information and when we do have them quarterly we'll invite them send them out send registration information all that kind of stuff okay okay now bishop um if there's people that are watching and say oh my god this man is on fire we want him at our church wow how can they get in contact they with can you? also go to bishopzeb.com that is our website. Um, they can, um, I think there's a, a, a tab on there that says invite and just invite me to come. We will come. Be honored to come if the Lord says the same thing. Amen. And that's one thing. I actually met him. I didn't get an opportunity to say that in the beginning. Uh, first time I met him, it might have been in September, we were doing a taping for Impact Network. Yeah. I didn't know much about it. I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know anything about him. And um, I had went first and because um, you know, I'm the little peon on the platform, right? So I got all these big chief giants behind me. So I'm like, oh yeah, just you put me first. <laughs> just, 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 just take me out of my misery. So then I came back. He's like, you did such a good job, so fucking so on. And when he got up to speak, you know, like I said, I'm a type of person. I listen for the sound because there's a sound that comes out of those that are called really truly called by God, and I. I, I discern the weight that they carry. Wow. See, a lot of times, we again, he was talking about the names, but there's a sound that God's people carry. And you can scream, you can holler, you can move people emotionally, and that sound not be there. And when he got up, he had the sound. And then when he ministered, the weight came with it. And that is what we desire. And that, that is, I believe that's what God is raising up in this hour. The people that has the sound from heaven. Because the Bible says, my sheep know my voice. Yes. And a stranger they will not follow. So when we are opening up our mouth, that voice from heaven should be the sound that's being projected, projected out of our mouth. Yes. And when we spend time with God, there's a weight that you carry it has nothing to do with the size you are, yes. but it has to do with the weight that you carry in yes. the spirit. Like he was saying that you, you can be a general, you can be general in the spirit. He's not gonna send no punk demon to you. He gonna make sure that he sends somebody that is your level. When you carry a weight in the spirit, it opens up the atmosphere. Yes. It starts to do something in the realm of the spirit. And those that are sensitive to what God is, is doing in the season, is able to uh, uh, attach themselves to it, mm -hmm. but not only that, be a part of what God is yes. doing in this season. So, man of God, I appreciate you so much. Wow, thank I you. do, I do, I appreciate you. Honor. Yeah, uh, 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 along along my travels, I was sharing with someone earlier. I said people call me now. They call me, they text me, Doc. I want to be on the show, Doc. I want to be on the show, and I says I don't operate like that. I said I have to pray. And I said, because this is a platform that God has given me to bless others. And I want to make sure that whoever sits in this chair has been ordained by God to sit there. Because I know for those who've taken the hour, I don't know how long we've probably been up here for two hours now. But though for those that have been here watching, I want there to be an impact in their lives. I want change to take place. I want after they finish watching Hallelujah Hour, they drop to their knees and say, God, do something for me. God, let 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 the light that you put in me shine to another place and another level. And and I'm grateful and thankful that you said yes to be on the show today. So I feel God on you. So I know that God is giving you a word for the people. I am opening up the gate and I'm letting you go. I, I don't necessarily know if it's for the people, it's for you. Okay. So the Lord said there is a a strange and a swift wind coming to your life and ministry. 
with a sharp turn, a sharp change. Yes. You have not access for you operating in the things that he's really called you to do. I was not uh, being funny when I said, I want to say prophet. Yes. You know, there's a prophet on you and in you. Yes. And it's got to be opened up to the body of Christ. Yes. Don't let them box you in to be their teacher just to teach them how to pray. Yes. The Lord is going to use you to call a nation back to prayer. Amen. Even this particular city that we're in, when I walked in the building, I had never been here before. Yes. But even in, in buildings like this, God's going to call you. He's going to use you to cause uh, prayer gatherings to come in. Amen. And out of that, there is a strong impartation in your hands for the laying on of hands. Amen. I don't think I've ever seen you operate in ministry. Oh, There's a strong <laughs> yeah. impartation laying on of hands. Yeah. And out of that, you're going to see a lot of changes, a lot of lives evolved and changed. Yeah. Out of that change will come a lot of things back into your life. Amen. You have not accessed the doors that God has for you. Amen. There are many doors, I'm talking about financial, new house, Amen. talking about new driving Amen. that the Lord has for you. Amen. You have not gotten it because there is a stretching forth in ministry that the Lord wants to take you through. And out of that yes. ministry, there will be some residuals coming back Amen. into your life. I will even be very careful because I'm not sure on where you worship at, but even on your life, there's yes. that pastoral mantle yes, yes, that yes, you shepherd yes. God's people. Yes. You're like a mother that holds them in your womb. <laughs> yes. You carry them. You walk yes. them through deliverance. Yes. You yes. walk them through health. Some of them yes. are, are, are thrown away by other people, yes. but you'll get up 2 and 3 o'clock yes. in the morning. You'll pray with them. You'll nurse them. Yes. If you got to go and meet them to give them money, you'll do yes. whatever needs to be done. Yes. That's that pastoral mantle that's on your life. Yes. And the Lord says, I want to even take that to a new place. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about pastoring a stationary church, but I'm looking at a facility built for prayer, mm -hmm. a facility built to teach intercession, mm -hmm. a facility to, uh, built to teach uh, worship and warfare, teaching yes. people spiritual warfare, yes. how to do the things of the spirit. Yes. That's something that's totally lost in the body. Yes. But I'm looking at the Lord giving you great funding and great revenue to get that done. Yes. Get ready for some great things to happen. Yes. I know this is life zone and I know life zone is in, you said, one million viewers, home, and all that kind of stuff. But there's even some greater TV opportunity for you. <laughs> there's some even greater shows for you of your own that the Lord is calling you to. I would even be remiss if I didn't say this to Dr. Bassett while she was um, just coming off the platform. I was led to hug her, asked if she was leaving. And she said no, because even the call on her life is greater than the prophetic. It's greater than the church house. It's greater than just preaching from pulpit to pulpit. Yes. There is an entrepreneur on her. There is a, 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 I'm looking at a girl's home. I'm looking at a shelter for women. I'm looking at a program of life skills, yes. teaching yes. them how to go back and be productive citizens in life. And I'm looking at actually a building being erected from the ground. Yes. That's not only going to have the programs in it, but it's going to even have the living facility and quarters in it for yes. these young women. Oh, I'm looking yes. at great things happen for people yes. in ministry yes. who have held on to the horns of the altar. Yes. Yes. Who have said, God, I'm not in it for me, I'm in it for you. And because of that, the Lord's going to begin to pour back. I believe God's going to start stripping from, the Bible says this, it says the wealth of the wicked yes. is laid up for the righteous. Yes. So often the church has thought the wicked is in the world. There's wicked in the church. Yes. Yes. And God's going to start stripping them and start pouring into ministries that not only can use it, but will use it for his glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory I don't know God. if I was supposed to say that stuff, No, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just, just, just kind of where I, where, You know, I, I've been in, in a season Not a season of uh, a drought Because yes. the presence of God Has been on my life yes. It's been on, on me kind of yes. good I should yes. say yes. Um, But I've been in such a battle Because I'm watching people who I know Don't live the life I live I've watched the church push them yes, to the next level. Yes, yes. And, 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 and you if, if I wasn't careful, and yes. if I'm not careful, yes, yes. there will become a hatred for God and his things. Mm. Because deep down inside, we say, God, you let it happen. Mm. Ain't nobody going to be real tonight. Yeah, no, 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 you, <laughs> you let it happen. I'm doing everything I can for you. Yes. But then the Lord will come, and he will, he will encourage you and say, but I still got your back. My God. I called you to do it. Thank you didn't God. call yourself. Amen. 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 Were we not blessed tonight? Yeah. Were we not blessed tonight? Yeah. Now, does this let you know that Dr. Williams prays when she get people on the show? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I was, I'm just so 
overtaken. Thank you, man of God, for the word. And I know, let me tell you how true this word is. I was in service last night, and there was a prophet, and uh, we had a guest prophet that came in and prophesied only almost word to word what you just said to me. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Almost word to word what you said to me about the show and about other different things. So I know that God is definitely speaking. And even what you said to Prophet Bassett, I wow. know that to be true because wow. we've had conversations about wow. it. So you are a true man of God. And like I said, when I met you in September, not only was it the sound, but it was the weight. I was, I, was, I was talking to someone today and I called you and you actually said it earlier about the horse, but I said, he's a gentle giant. He's a gentle giant. So when you said it, I just looked at you because that there is how I see you small, or you're, you're, you're soft spoken, but yet you're a powerhouse in the spirit. Yeah. Wow. And people sleep on you. Wow. They sleep on you, but let me tell you something. One thing I can say about you, and even when you came to the charge encounter, I believe you came in the fall, I believe. Yes, that was the fall. I was there. Wow. Yeah, I was okay. there. I was there. Hey, you never know. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was there, and um, I was watching because I'm I'm a watcher. People people who know me, I sit back and I watch people. And the Lord said to me, He's real. Wow. I I don't find that all the time, but I find people that are real. So I'm telling you, the same blessings that you have spoken upon us, we speak that upon you sevenfold. We we I, I just believe God is just about to do some amazing things, and tonight is going to open many doors for you. People who don't even know you, maybe heard of you, they're like, oh my God, that man of God right there. Because you know when you spoke, you felt God. You feel the presence and you feel the power. And God's about to do it, and I'm just excited for you. I'm excited. So man of God, are you finished? You got something else to say? I think we finished. You think we finished? Okay, well, there's nothing yeah, else to say. say this yes, go ahead. Go ahead, man of God. Sure. The the show was uh, laced on the prophetic yes. when the prophetic is in the session yes. and I, I just would like to tell all of the prophets to arise yes. come yes. out of the ashes, come out of the shadows yes. Yes. come out of fear, yes. come out of intimidation yes. and just walk in who God has called you to be yes. you don't have to be perfect, you will miss it and all of that stuff is good and fine yes. just walk in what God has called you to be and God's going to have your back Amen, Amen Again bishopzeb.com yeah. invite him please you, he said please <laughs> you will not be disappointed like I said I don't endorse everybody you know sometimes you be like praise him hallelujah thank you Jesus <laughs> but you know I, I, I thank God for him I thank God for what God is doing in his life and most of all I thank God for him being here on today to well again this has been an awesome two hour <laughs> hallelujah hour but I'm grateful and I'm thankful because God is definitely doing a new thing and it's definitely springing, springing forth. And my prayer has always been, God, whatever platform that you give us, let us be used for your glory. And I'm glad and I feel that God, that, that God um, will be pleased for what we have done on tonight. So again, for those of you that are watching, I appreciate you. I thank you again. I want to... Uh, remind those of you, uh, Life Zone TV is having the Pastors and Ministers Appreciation Luncheon, Saturday, April 28th, 20, 2018, from 11 to 2 p.m. You can go to LifeZoneTV.com to register. Also, too, Bishop, uh, if you're interested, he has the School of the Prophets. I believe that would be a great investment for you. And also, every Thursday night at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, because you know the little thing comes up, let me know when it comes up. But at 8 o'clock, uh, go to the Prophetic Hub, and he does an awesome teaching on different levels and different areas of prophecy and the prophetic. And again, Bishop, thank you so much for thank being you, here uh, on tonight. To here. Lady Bassett, thank you so much for being here on on tonight. Next next month, I'm going to have a surprise, and, and I believe that we'll definitely be um, um, excited about the guests we're gonna have uh, next month. Also too, I want us to get ready because I just believe God is just doing a new thing. Just even hallelujah hour has just shifted. I, I just see the shift that's even happen, happening on the show. And I believe the same shift that's happening on the, on the show is the same shift that God is, is doing in our lives. One thing I've been really feeling in the spirit that not only changes here, it changes now. And this is the season.
season of change. And as Luke 1, 45 says, and there will be a performance. Mm -hmm. God is getting ready to perform it. I feel it. Mm -hmm. I sense it. Last night I was doing an empowerment call. And, and, and my topic last night was divine fulfillment. We're about to walk into divine fulfillment. This is the season of manifested yes. promises. This is the season. Hold on to it. No matter what it looks like, no matter what the devil is saying, I'm telling you, hold on to it. I taught about a week ago and with Elijah and Gehazi and how um, the um, prophet prayed for the servant's eyes to be open. Lord, open up our eyes that we may yes. be able to see it in the yes. spirit. Because many of you, you're missing God because you're looking at it in the natural. But if you can hold on to the word of the Lord yes. Jesus Christ, you shall see the manifested promises. You will walk in his divine fulfillment and God is going to do exactly what he says he's going to do. He's not a man that he should lie, yes. nor the son of man that he should repent. He said it and it shall yes. and it will come to pass. Again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I pray that you were blessed. I pray that you were encouraged. Most of all, I pray that this hallelujah hour has catapulted you to your next level. Be blessed and know one thing. As you go with God, God certainly will go with you. Have a blessed, wonderful, and awesome night in Jesus' name. God bless you.